Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patson and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash cheating stories where OP's wife was having an affair with her ex. Let's begin. I found out that my wife had been talking to her ex for over a year. Posted by Reddit user U01SRP7. My wife and I have been together for 8 years and married for 4 this June. She was with her ex for 7 years but she broke up with him 2 years before we got together. We are both on our mid-30s and honestly married life has been lovely. We have had some dry spells but generally our sea life is good and we're both emotionally involved. About 6 months ago we were driving and she mentioned her ex reached out via text because her friend at work accidentally called him when he borrowed her phone to make a call. Seemed weird, but I never thought anything of it as it's not the type of story you would make up. She passed it off and said that they just exchanged a couple messages to catch up and that was that. For context, they were not friends and have had zero contact since they split up as he was still in love with her and couldn't be friends. Fast forward to about 4 weeks ago, we were driving and she left the car to go to a shop and left her phone in the car. I am far from the jealous type but it was facing me and I seen his name pop up on the notification. Alarm bells started going off but I trusted her 100% so I just brushed it off and never said anything to her. Around 2 weeks go by and I was monitoring her behavior and noticed she is texting a lot and sometimes angles the phone away from me. As my anxiety build up, I decide to confront her about it and ask if she was in contact with her ex. She openly admits that they kept in touch since he messaged and it's just every so often. They share details about what they are up to and fun things that have happened. We have a discussion about it and I tell her I'm not sure if I'm comfortable and can't understand why she has been hiding it from me. She states that she was subconsciously hiding it as she knew I would be upset but that it was innocent. She did offer at this time to stop messaging him if I felt uncomfortable. As I said earlier, I trust this girl with all my heart and truly believe that it was innocent but I still felt hurt. I didn't ask to see the messages as I didn't want to cross a boundary that may impact our future relationship. We agree that she can keep texting him but just not to hide it from me. Anyway the next night we are in bed and it's about midnight when I turn over and see her messaging. I instantly felt my stomach tighten and asked her who she was talking to. She said it was her ex and she was just sharing information about our day. I let it be as I didn't really know what to feel and wanted to give myself time. The next afternoon we spoke about it and agreed that it seems like it will be an issue so she agreed she would text him and let him know that they can't talk anymore. While during their texts it turned into him persuading her to keep texting and even went as far to say that his girlfriend knows and she is happy to have a chat with me to reassure me that it's innocent. I felt like this was a weird game and this is where anger started to kick in. I thought our discussions would have been enough to show my wife that I was not comfortable and she would make this call on her own to help us feel secure in our relationship. I ended up telling her it was up to her what she wanted to do but this kind of backfired when she told me she would keep in contact and reassured me it's just because she doesn't really have much friends. We recently moved to a new state and with COVID never met anyone so we have been a bit isolated. So I do understand where she is coming from. This went on for two days until I couldn't take it anymore. I'm not an emotional person but my moral compass was in alarm state all the time. We sat down and I let her know that we need to set boundaries and I think that talking to an ex that we were not friends with is a boundary that we should not cross. She was upset but agreed and wanted to put us first and as we spoke, she messaged him that they should not talk and then she blocked him. I really appreciated her listening and responding to the conversation but could see she was hurt. I then stupidly started reading threads online about red flags and was almost kicking myself for not noticing earlier. That's what drove me to review our phone plan usage data. What I found almost made me have a panic attack. I felt my chest get tight and I really struggled to breathe. The text logs showed that it was going on for a year, nearly every day 10 to 40 messages, images, texts, often at night, even at 2 a.m. while I was sleeping next to her. My heart sank as I inevitably thought that my amazing wife was cheating on me, at least on an emotional level. Based on the data I wrote down some questions, when did it start? How often were you messaging him? Did you ever meet him when you went back to visit your family? He stays in the same city where her parents live. I called her through and asked her to sit down. She seemed scared as she could see I was visibly upset. I told her that I will ask a series of questions and I want you to be brutally honest with me. She was slightly confused but agreed. I then asked the first question. She said she did not remember how long it has been but she thought it was months. To the second question she said maybe every couple of days, now and then. And for the third she completely denied that they have met in person. 
I knew she was lying about the first two so when I brought up the timeline and evidence that showed the duration and volume of texts, said she that couldn't remember how long and that it didn't seem like they were texting all the time, especially as they were innocent, sharing dog pics and talking about us doing stuff together, never flirty or to personal. At this time we were both deeply emotional and being honest I was nearly breaking down as she was crying continuously. It was a horrible conversation. She then told me I could look through the messages, but two weeks prior she had changed phones. She went and got her old phone, charged it and then opened it. She handed me the phone and she went through to our room still crying. I didn't know what I would find. My gut was that it was seating and reminiscing of old times. First I just scrolled through quickly to see if any overtly flirty messages or images popped up but nothing out of the ordinary. I then used the data from the phone account to check if any messages has been deleted and scrolled to dates where their message would go on until 2 a.m. while I was sleeping. It seemed that they were mostly all there and again, of an innocent nature. Literally dog pics getting sent at 2 a.m. I was so confused, upset and relieved at the same time. Now the messages were personal in nature, about our relationship, plans etc. But I didn't want to snoop too much as I honestly felt sick and betrayed but also that I was invading her privacy. My hurt stemmed from the deceit and hiding the relationship from me for a year. I also noted to myself that I loved her and I did still trust her. We spoke about it, cried and talked about boundaries and how to move forward. Now comes the weird part. Over the next two, three weeks we have become more open, emotionally aware and physically available for each other than we ever have been. It's like a light switch went off and we realized that we were so happy to be with each other and thankful for what we have. We have an amazing life, good finances, hobbies, dogs, interests that the scare woke us up to it, so we could really appreciate what we have. I won't lie, I still get upset and bring it up with her every so often. I ask questions and tell her my thoughts. It's like my brain is trying to search for red flags as I can't believe I never noticed it for a year. She has taken full responsibility and assured me that she will never do anything like that again. She apologized and realized how it looked and knows it crossed a line. If I am honest, even though I am upset part of me feels guilty about asking her to stop talking to him. Not because it was him but because she needs friends and I know how important they are to a healthy relationship. I was never jealous and I am worried that the guilt of not seeing it has changed me and now I have jealous thoughts that I can't shake. Any advice to help me get over it quicker would be appreciated. I really don't want to change and become possessive. Thanks for reading, I know it was a lot. OP, do you seriously believe that setting clear and reasonable boundaries is being possessive? Well, I'm not really surprised since you're a simp and she got you so well trained. Look man, instead of having the self-respect and kicking her out, you chose to forgive a cheater. I will definitely be seeing you again very soon, OP, because she will cheat on you again. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone, if you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong!